Hey guys, German1999 here. Today we've got a review of the Nash, the TWH National Crane 1300H on a Peterbilt 357 chassis. Ah, oh, and of course my cat comes in. So, it's, let's get started on the review, shall we? Let's start at the front. Got the menacing Peterbilt. You got the logo. Your tiny warning deck labels there. Chromed bumper, headlights. This is my cat. Meow to the people. No? Okay. But, there's hardly any plastic used on this. The mirrors are metal. Um, the tires, the rims are metal too. Tire steer, they're, it's notched so you can't, like, place it where you want it. Hood opens to reveal an extremely detailed engine. This is by far the most I've ever seen a hood open. And I like it. So, here you got your engine. And then you can see the chassis underneath. You got opening doors. Hard to open though. Metal mirrors, all your air horns, and Lights on the top, visor. Can't much see the interior, but you got your steering wheel and all that other good stuff. Got your rivets on the door. There's the door handle on the bottom, fuel tanks, which are metal, I think. You got your outriggers with all these tiny little warning labels. I would assume that's so that you don't get your foot crushed by the outrigger. Oh, the hood is etched through so you can see through it. But even more tiny warning labels. I can't even see those. Got your man. Manitowoc Crane Group logo on there. So above the cab, got your winch and your, that's what I would assume is the crane motor, or the winch motor. And then your auxiliary, electric, and something else lines. They're all twisted up and they go in there. Uh, Okay, sorry, got a bit of a cold. You got all your hydraulic lines underneath the boom. Working angle indicator. Your winch is a uh, positive action thingy, my bob. Turn it, it's spring loaded. You turn it with your thumb, there's no keys. Um, the other side is pretty much the same, except for this little compartment here. Which opens. Oh, that's where I put that pin. Huh. Looking for those pins. Huh. You get. A million of these little pins, and they're really annoying and are easy to lose. Is there anything else in there? No. That opens. 
it's just friction rivets that are holding it. You got your simu simulated wood decking. And um, also, you get a man basket. Which I just forgot to put on. But it's a really nice little thing. It's completely etched through, so you can see through it. Got your what, what, what I would, what is, you got all your little warning labels in there. Um, National Crane logo. Don't know what that's for. And then on the back of this, it's just a million lo little warning labels on there. And that just fits onto the pegs in there. Jib came off. It's really getting on my nerves. But you got your swing out fly jib. Oh, and here, twist, turn it around. We'll raise up the boom. Just can see this better. Yeah, I'm destroying my studio. So, here you have your control panel, and then you've even got a little remote. And it fits into this little pocket here. This moves up and down. This moves side to side. Oh, just put it up. Side to side, pretty far. Remote doesn't want to go back into its little pocket. Stay. Stay. <clears throat> Anywho, um, this opens up or down, I should say, to reveal a host of lines in there. Lots of detail. Oh, you also have your exhaust stack over there. I'm pretty sure it's solid. Uh, etched through guards on both sides. Got your electrical lines going up to the controls. Uh, your outriggers in the back. They're screw down outriggers. So and they slide out and screw down. Right. And I screw down. But you can't see any of the screw threads, which is nice. <sighs> you have another warning label on the outrigger. Uh, lights. Detailed frame, outriggers just slide back in, rubber mud flaps here, the national logo on it. In the back you got your lights, your boom set your boom stand with place this back up. You got your boom stand, the metal handrails. And then I forgot to show you that on the back you have Working suspension. Kind of hard to see, but you have working suspension on there. I added a uh, pintle hitch, a tow hitch, for my uh, tag for my tag trailer. The other side is pretty much the same. Well, it's the only difference. 
being the toolbox, not there. I think that's a fuel tank or a hydraulic tank. And then you got your boom there. You got your boom and your cab, your door, exhaust stack, which is I, which is partially etched, bolt detailing all around the door. I don't know what that thing is. Simulated hood clasps. So uh, let's turn her over. Here's the amazingly detailed underside. Steering in the front. Um, all your lines and pipes for exhaust and stuff. Yeah, that must be either oil, coolant, or uh, hydraulic fluid. You got your amazingly detailed chassis there, and your, the bottom of your outriggers, your wheels, etched through walk plate, fuel tanks, etc. You can see your transmission, and so your drive shaft is right here. Ah. Uh. The boom actually extends to be pretty big, almost three feet tall. Um, I bought this for a hundred for a hundred dollars plus fourteen dollars shipping. I got it off eBay. Um, I got it right when I started YouTube. It's a hundred and thirty dollars normally. Uh, I got it for 114 with shipping, of course. That's shipping included. Gotta get this hook back on. It looks really nice with a tag trailer. I believe uh, Ben 316BDL. He's got one of these also. He probably has a review up. Go check out. Go check him out. But here it is with the tag trailer. And with a Bobcat S175. So, uh, thanks for watching. I would recommend this model. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.